Hey, this is Joshua Davis from Call for Bobby. Yeah, hey, great to hear from you, Joshua. Thanks for taking the time to call in. Sure, is this Bobby? Yeah, I'm here also with uh, with Kayla Kiley. Kayla is our digital managing editor, and she is a Joshua Davis fan. Oh, I'm huge. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have Thanks, loved you Kayla. for many years. Uh, I think I first heard you at Gopher Woods concerts in Cadillac when mm-hmm. you were with the band Steppin' In It. Yep. And I, uh, I asked you what CD I should buy. I, I now have at least two of your, your albums and then also your solo albums. So I'm just a huge fan. And I know that Thanks a lot so of people much. in Kalamazoo are big fans, too. Yeah, you know, I've, I've played in Kalamazoo for a long time and, and, and absolutely love it there. Good. Hey, got to ask you, we are Kalamazoo's country station, so I got to ask you about Blake Shelton. How was Blake? You know, Blake um, actually is, is a really, he's a really great guy. Um, uh, being on his team was uh, was really fun. He's He's got a really disarming personality. He's hilarious. Um, I mean, he's like that in person. Um, everybody on the show loves him. All the, you know, from the staff, the wardrobe people, that you know, they they all really love him. So he's, a, he's really a genuine, down-to-earth, just like, you know, kind of good time guy and and uh and he still you know keeps really connected with me um every time he sees me you know he stops me and we have a conversation um so he's you know he's really well connected um i mean he keeps connected to his to his artists and and uh yeah he's, he's just a good guy i hear people say the exact same thing about you josh just wanted you to know oh, that's, that. That's nice to hear. <laughs> nice to hear. We are talking with Joshua Davis from The Voice at Kalamazoo's Country 1025. I'm Bobby Guy, along with our digital managing editor, Kayla Kiley. Kayla? Hey, Josh. I've heard a couple of um, rumors about why you decided to audition for The Voice. I heard that they contacted you. Is that true? Yeah. Yeah. You know, um, I had seen the show only once before, actually, because a friend of mine, Michelle Samuel, um, was on the show a couple seasons ago, and so I watched one of her episodes, but I was not familiar with the show um, and not really necessarily into into reality TV at all. Uh, and yeah, they they contacted me because of, they found some videos of mine online and um, and asked me to come and and uh, be in the in the blind auditions. Um, and yeah, it was a I was like the last person to be added to the to the list and. It's uh, something that I never ever thought about doing um, in my life, and so it's a really bizarre uh, twist of fate. And that's, it's been a, but it's it's been an incredible adventure, and it's been it's been a blast. Josh, what would we be surprised to know about the voice? What's something we don't see on TV? Uh, you know, something that you don't see about, uh, on TV is that is that um, it is a competition, but but really um, the environment here is incredibly supportive um, from the producers on down. Um, the, the whole culture here is is really about it's about family it's about uh, supporting each other and being you know as collaborative as possible even though it's a competition uh, because when I came out here I, I was concerned it was going to be cutthroat and there's going to be a bunch of egos and there's going to be all L A out here um, whatever that means uh, you know um, and it's just it's just not like that it's it's um, incredibly supportive all the staff here is absolutely amazing and and uh, you know it's 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 been a great experience. Yeah, you know, I've seen your pictures on uh, on Facebook and Instagram, and it seems like you've been. Uh, it's been a friendly competition with some of the uh, the people you're out there on the show with. Yeah, I've made a lot of I've made a lot of great friends, and uh, and one of the cool things is that it's a really diverse group of people. You know, um, uh, we have a, an incredible music scene in Michigan, and, and it's it's been uh, it's been an honor to represent that scene out here. But there's you know people you know that are from scenes like that all around the country, and. Uh, out here, and, and so I'm, I'm, you know, getting exposed to lots of different kinds of music and, and lots of different kinds of people, and, and that's just been a blast. I want you to know we're all cheering for you back home in uh, in Michigan, and uh, got to ask what um, congratulations on the Twitter save. You're still on the show, but are you thinking are you thinking what's next after this? Uh, after the show, always, oh, you know, back to real life, man. Uh, you know, we were playing this event last night. Um, There's like a The Voice Spring Break, and it's a big outside stage, and it, you know. Um, I've been doing this for a living for over 15 years, uh, and played a lot of festival stages. And, and I was walking by this festival stage outside last night, and it just made me want to go up there and like play my own music and play a whole set, you know, um, because, you know, that's what I that's what I do. And so I'm I, I'm really grateful for this experience, but I'm really excited to get back to doing doing what I do. It's a pretty good gig, and it's not a lot of people can make a living at this, Joshua. Man, you're doing it right. Congratulations. I really appreciate that. Thanks. 
Bobby Guy, along with Kayla Kiley, our digital managing editor at Kalamazoo's Country 1025, and we're talking with Joshua Davis from The Voice. Hey, Josh, do you have a strategy for this coming week? I know that you have a performance on Monday. Yeah. Um, you know, I think uh, last week was was really stressful, and uh, and um, the song was picked that I didn't necessarily feel connected to, and uh, I kind of just went for it because, you know, a part of what being out here is is to, to learn and to grow and to... to to you know, evolve as an artist, and, and um, but uh, I, I kind of learned that that I need to put my foot down a little bit more and dig my heels in, and and you know, do what I want to do. Um, and I can take the yeah, I can take the coaching and take the the advice, but when it comes down to it, I, I have to be responsible for for what I'm putting out there. And so, I picked the song this week. Um, you know, I feel personally invested in it. I feel connected to it and, and I'm really charged up um, and especially after I had a rehearsal with, with Usher and Adam and uh, Usher is really blew me away caught me off guard he's really an incredible guy and um, uh, so I feel really charged up and, and excited for this week very cool can you tell us what the song is I can't divulge that okay. secret it would be a <laughs> spoiler I'll tell you what, though, Josh, you, you've picked some fantastic songs on the show, man. You've been picking some really great songs and, and killing them, man. Thanks so much. I really appreciate it. You know, my, my taste in music, I think, is a lot more obscure than than maybe uh, some of the people's on the show. And, and so there's a lot of songs that kind of get naysayed um, that I suggest because they're not, they might not appeal to a wider audience, you know. So, um, so what I'm trying to do is I'm taking, you know, I, what I'm trying to do is take these songs that people know and, and kind of make them my own. We're talking with Josh Davis from The Voice, another big performance coming up on Monday. And I'm here with Kayla Kiley, our digital managing editor at Kalamazoo's Country 1025. You know, I've heard people talking on, well, I've seen people talking on Facebook about having you play some of your own songs. Is that a possibility? No, no, no. The show is called Songwriter, unfortunately. It's called The Voice. And, and, uh, and you know, I think I'm sure there'd be all sorts of legal stuff that I'd have to I'd probably have to sign away all the rights to something um, if I was to play one of my songs uh, on the show. You know, um, so that's that's something that I'm excited to get back to after the voice. But uh, you know, as for right now, it's been it's actually been really fun to just kind of concentrate on my voice because it's something that I never really thought of myself as much as a singer. Uh, I was I was a singer because nobody else in the band wanted to sing. Um, and so I was a songwriter and guitar player first, and uh, this has, has allowed me to, to take some time and, and look at my voice like an instrument and, and really work hard on it. Absolutely. So what would you say is your biggest takeaway from this experience? Um, I think there's a few takeaways. I mean, the first one is the, the community we've made out here and, and the friends um, and the, um, the relationships that I've built out here. Um, I, you know, I wouldn't have met these people otherwise, and they're incredible people. Now they're some of my best friends, and uh, that's that's number one. Um, I think just learning and growing as an artist, um, seeing this big framework out here and, and working within it, um, learning about my voice, and uh, and just kind of owning what I do, owning my flaws and the things that I like about my voice and, and uh, making them mine. Those are the things that I've really I've really taken away. Sounds like a lot of work. You having any fun out there? <laughs> yeah, tons of fun. You know, um, right now it's it's a lot of work. I mean, it's pretty nonstop. This is the first break that I've had. You know, this morning is the first break that I've had in in a lot many many days, and uh, and so it's it's work. It's it's fun work. It really is. Um, but uh, leading up to this, when there was more people in in the battles and the blinds and the knockouts. There's a lot more um, people hanging out and, and a lot more time to kind of socialize. And, and uh, so it's, it's been a blast. It's, it's been a lot of fun. We're hoping it continues to be uh, to be good for you. And, we're man, we're cheering you on from your home state all the way to the end, Josh. I really appreciate that. I'm, I'm feeling all the support. It's been absolutely amazing. It's been terrific to talk with you today. Thanks for taking the time to talk with, uh, with us in Kalamazoo Country, Josh. Good luck on The Voice. Thank you guys so much. Thanks, all right. Josh. Bye. Appreciate it.